Welcome back guys, we're back again with another Minecraft tutorial and this time we're going to be going over Warp's GUI. Um, if you're not sure what this is, this is like an extra extension to Essentials which has Warp's, however now you're going to be able to add this to a really nice little menu uh, with clear items and graphics so people can actually just click on it, or type in Warp's, it'll pop up and they can just click on it and go to that certain area. So with that, let's get into the video. So first things first, we're going to need a server for this, and if you haven't got one already, head on over to Seekerhost. We've got some really reasonably priced packages, small, medium, and extra large servers, DDoS protection, live support, and lots of tutorials for you to follow along if you want to mod or change your server. Now back to the Essentials Warp GUI. For this to work, you are going to need Essentials, and if you haven't got Essentials, check out our video. We've got a tutorial to get it all installed, set up, and all the commands that you're going to need as well for your server. I'll leave the link to install this in the description, and just go ahead and install install it. You're going to find it on the Spigot website and it has been tested on versions 1.8 all the way through 1.16 and still works really well. It's on native to version 1.13 but I've been using it for all of my servers and I've got to say it does work pretty well. If you haven't heard of it you're not sure what it is, it is a custom GUI so rather than just typing warps like you do in Essentials, um, you can type warps and it'll come up with a, um, a nice display rather than just having to type in the warp itself. You can set different icons, prefixes and laws as well. So let's just go ahead and press download it'll start to download in the top right if it does get blocked just make sure to keep it it is a safe file i've used it for a while and if you're ever not sure about a file head over to virus total i always run my urls or any files that i've downloaded through here just to make sure they're safe first you're going to find the jar file in your downloads folder so we've got that now ready to set up on the server if we head over to our server over here you're going to see i've got paper 116.5 so this is going to run both bucket and spigot plugins so it's going to work with this plugin just make sure to stop your server first before you go ahead and add any plugins just to stop corrupting any files now you can just go ahead to your files and go to your FTP file access. If you rather use FileZilla, go ahead and do the normal way that you normally would by dragging and dropping the files over into the plugin folder. You're going to come down and find the folder named plugins, click on that, and then we're going to go ahead over to upload. And then we're going to open the Warps GUI. Once you've selected your plugin, simply go to submit and it's now going to upload it to your server. You can now go back to your Multicraft control panel uh, on the main dashboard, sorry, and you can press start and it will now start your server back up with the plugin. And before we head into the game, let's just check out the YML files. There really isn't much you're gonna change here, but we'll go over to config files anyway, just to show you. And you're gonna see that we have messages, warps, and config right here. Your warps will get saved on your warps YML right here. Of course, you can see that we haven't got any set up yet. If you go over to messages.yml, you can change the messages um, that you get given in game here. And of course, you have your config.yml. You can set the title to your warps here. Apart from that, it's really, you haven't got a lot more to do. So rather than warps, you might have yours as paths or you know, any other name. So let's Let's just go ahead and name these JDog Warps and just hit save if you made any changes. So I'm just going to hit restart if you have uh, changed any configuration files I always tend to restart just to make sure that it's properly loaded up on the server and we can now actually head in game check out some of the commands on how to use this plugin. So let's just go ahead and connect to our server and the first thing that we're going to need is some warps to actually set up. This is of course why you need the essentials plugin because you need to actually set this up. So let's just set warp and we're going to name this spawn and we're going to come over here do another one and call it shop. So let's just press enter so we've got two warps set. Now if we go ahead and type in warps you're going to see that rather than uh, the normal essentials uh, way that it will just come up and you've got to type in the command we're going to get this little screen here and they come up as sort of the great gray clay i've got two other warps that are on here as well so that every warp that you've um, inserted will be displayed here so to set an icon on our warps now we're going to do a warp cfg we're going to type set icon in one word then the warp name so we're going to do um, shops for the first one and then the material so i'm just going to go for a stone block so if we press enter now you can see the icon has been changed to stone um, now if we go warps you can see that we have a stone right here we can do the same thing with spawn so uh, that'll be forward slash warp cfg set icon spawn and then i'm going to put a diamond for spawn so if we press enter now go back to warps we're going to see that we have two displayed like this so now that we've got our icons ready let's set some prefixes if you want something in front of the message to do this do a forward slash warp cfg again this time it's going to be prefix rather than set icon we're going to do the warp name so let's do spawn here you're going to type in set to set the message and then you're going to go and type in your message and you can also color code these as well so let's just make this yellow and let's make it large as well and press enter so now if we go and check it out and unfortunately it hasn't made it larger but it has made it yellow so you can change the colors but it leads me nicely to how we can also remove it so to remove a prefix you're simply going to type in warp cfg prefix use the uh, the name of the warp so in this case spawn and then we're going to just type remove 
press enter and like that it's just been removed if we go to warps again you're going to see that we have no prefix last but not least you might want to add a lure a lure is like a, a message after so rather than being before this the warp name is going to be afterwards almost like a little description underneath to do this we're going to type forward slash warp cfg and we're going to do lure we're going to add the warp name so in this case i'm going to do shops we're going to write add and then we're going to write the message so i've written the message press enter and now if we do warps um we just go over to the shops over here and you can see all your shopping needs so now let's say if you wanted to write a bit more rather than just one line you can actually do it again so if we go back to the last one that we written um, and we just take out the message so we're just going to do the exact same thing again warp cfg law we shops for the same warp name we're going to do add again and we're just going to add another line so i'm just going to write good deals i'm going to press enter and now if we go back to warps you're going to see that we have two lines here and both in different colors now let's say you want to remove a law we're going to type forward slash warp cfg lure then the warp name so let's do shops again remove and then you're going to need the id the id is the number of the line and the id is going to be one for the first line so if we press one right here and then we go forward slash warps press enter you're going to see that it's going to have removed the first line leaving only the second line which is good deals if i do the same thing again we're now going to have no law because i've just removed all of the lines so go back to warps and you can see that it's back to the just the warp name so that's pretty much everything you're going to need to know with warps gui i do thoroughly recommend it just to make your server look that bit more professional so thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.